Now let's turn attention to an issue that has been biting hard on Nigerians, especially looking at uh, 2022. It started from 2022 and now it has crossed over even into 2023. And as we speak, a lot of Nigerians are still suffering under the harrowing experience of fuel scarcity, which of course has led to high cost of transportation, high cost in food commodities, and of course high cost also in the cost of uh, the commodity itself. Well, let's uh, now analyze these issues with Ibrand TV's Abuja Bureau Chief, uh, Alaji Kazim. Uh, he joins us now via the phone. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Kazim. Yeah, good morning. I thank you for having me too. Good morning to you. How is Abuja today? Abuja is very fine. All right, tell us what's the situation of things like in Abuja, especially when it comes to the uh, purchasing of fuel. Yeah, um, I think um, for this week, it's a little bit compared to the experience we had for two weeks back. Um, uh, for two weeks, there was a scarcity of petroleum products, not especially the MS or the petroleum uh, metal period. The one uh, we go uh, across. And um, within that uh, period, um, uh, uh, the little bit of a hardship. We see a very long queue running to about a kilometer plus in some communications and in some areas. Um, uh, you just have to buy black market, and the black market per liter gets up to about 310 naira per liter in some places far north, up to about 500 naira per liter. So, and as I think we see now, the cost of transportation has gone up. And the discount will come up for 100 naira before the now 200 naira and above. All right, Alajim Kazim, you just gave us two narratives now talking about the, the long queue and um, the you know di different prices we have right there in Abuja. Help us um, understand how are the people of Abuja how are they responding to these prices? Is it business as usual to them, or they are really, really frowning against it? Um, we are working very currently. Um, we are trying to know the impact of the high, uh, the quantity of petroleum on the uh, general uh, market. Mr. Kazim, can you hear us? Okay, it's quite difficult to hear you because there's some uh, there's some noise in the background, but we hope that gets better. But we'd like to know what exactly the situation is. You you've talked about the fact that uh, the price is selling for about three hundred naira, but is it looking like something that would go away anytime soon? Is it causing gridlock? Because right here in Lagos, we see a lot of uh, traffic jam, uh, gridlock due to the long fuel queues in the uh, different filling stations. Mr. Kazim. We might have to end this conversation here, Mr. Kazim, and try to get back to you because uh, it's quite difficult to make sense of what you're saying. Uh, we cannot hear you clearly. But uh, we'll take a break now. We'll come back uh, after trying to fix the situation. Please stay with us. Still talking fuel scarcity and looking at the situation report at the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, with Ibrand TV's Bureau Chief, and uh, that's uh, Mohammed Kazim, who joins us virtually. Thank you for joining us again, Mr. Mohammed. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, so, so I was asking if there are any gridlocks, traffic gridlocks, as we see right here in Lagos, due to the long fuel queues. There are a lot of traffic gridlocks causing a lot of difficulties for uh, Nigerians who are trying to make their ways to work and their different destinations. Yeah, the, the, the experience is not uh, too much uh, different to what you have in Lagos, actually. When you have a uh, fuel queue like this, uh, at times uh, it uh, causes blocking of roads and uh, makes traffic a little bit difficult. So, in some areas, you have such experiences as well.
What about cost of transportation? Has that been hiked? Yes, cost of transportation now is like hundred percent high because at the time you come up hundred naira goes for two hundred two fifty now, and uh, at times even um, uh, the, the cab uh, the grid drivers tell you they are not going to particular direction due to traffic and um, fuel consumption rates. Mm. Tell us how this is affecting the price of food commodities and uh, also how the Abuja citizens or residents are reacting to it. Yes, um, actually, whenever there is scarcity of uh, petroleum products, you know, it uh, definitely affects uh, on, on the structure of the economy. Um, uh, it causes hike in uh, food uh, uh, prices and uh, other daily needs and uh, commodities. And uh, actually, the citizens are frowning very seriously against this, most especially considering the kind of period we are into. Uh, now we are in December, and everybody knows how December used to be after uh, the festivity in December, and um, uh, uh, paying school fees and the rest of it. Then um, coupled with uh, having this kind of a situation of uh, well, scarcity is not easy. I mean, people are frowning seriously at it. It affects uh, almost uh, everybody. All right. With the situation of things now, looking at the high cost of this product and um, the availability of not even having it, not just that alone, and um, looking at the fact that you have to still pay through your nose to still get it, Looking at the way it's, the, you know, uh, looking at the way it is at the moment, if this, uh, what's it called now, subsidy stuff is removed in the coming months, you know, ahead, what do you think the situation will look like in Abuja as it stands now? Yes, um, I think that the, the, if, if the subsidy is going to be removed and the product will be uh, available, I mean, people have uh, started adopting to the prices uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in transportation. So I think it will be a bit better because um, the irony of it is that you get to a filling station. Even the, the, the most funniest one is the filling station uh, directly opposite NNDP, I mean, sorry, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, petroleum. Uh, uh, NNPC. Yeah. A filling station directly opposite uh, NNPC doesn't have fuel, but uh, are you imagining the, 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 the uh, boys around selling fuel uh, in, in, in uh, gallons, cakes, and the rest of it? So the question now will arise where are they getting this fuel from? So I think. Um, we are becoming used to, 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 the, to the hike uh, in the price of the commodity because um, far not in some places around Maiduguri, um, Yobe, and the rest of places like that, they are buying for presently for almost 500 naira per litre. So I think if the product is going to be available, so it will be more convenient for people to just drive into the filling station and buy whatever uh, amount of oil they can, they can afford. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for bringing us up to speed on what's happening, especially with the current fuel scarcity situation in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Thank you, Mohammed Kazim, Ibran TV's Abuja Bureau Chief. Thank you for having me. All right, let's take a break now. We'll be back to delve into other conversations. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>